What's up, everybody? How are you doing today? Coming at you in, uh, in a beautiful place. Let's just say that. It's a beautiful place. Uh, <coughs> uh, I'm in an island that they don't care about no corona shit. Uh, they don't wear any masks. And they believe it's fake. So I say, yeah, man, let's go there and see what's up. I land and I had my face mask on. And they look at me like I'm a crazy person. Say, take your mask off, man. This thing is not. What, what is this? What's you wearing? Take it off, bro. You look stupid. <laughs> uh, anyways, I just want to tell you about this uh, Steam Deck and GDB Win 3 situation. A lot of people are now confused between buying the GDB Win 3 or the Steam Deck. Let me break down this thing to you. By the way, this thing over here, you see that? This is a gym in the middle of the ocean. I mean, shout out to these people, man. Let's go back to Steam Deck. Now, two things you have to care about if you want to buy these handheld devices for gaming. Number one, cooling. Number one, cooling. All right, guys, make sure it's very excellent when it comes to thermals. Number two, which is, in my opinion, is very, very important. It's the second thing. Okay, this is the second most important thing about handheld devices in gaming. It's the physical aspect. How the device looks like. How it does it feel on your hand? How, you, how do you feel it when you move around? Because it's made for portability. That's, that's the basic thing that made it. It's a gaming portable device. And that is what it's made for. And if it cannot fulfill this thing, I don't think it's, it's gonna be called anything else or gaming devices, whatever. Uh, now let's take a look at these two devices when it comes to these two aspects. The Steam Deck, when it comes to uh, the physical aspect, where I see it would lack compared to the GDB Win 3 is number one, the way you hold the device. And what do I mean by the way you hold your device? Let me just show you what I mean. Let me just put this thing over here. All right. So the Steam Deck is like you're holding the device like this. It's like you're holding the steering wheel, right? It's so tall in aspect, steering wheel. It's like the GDB Win 3, the way you hold it, it's like this, okay? It's like you're holding your phone. It's this big. The Steam Deck is this big. Alright, so the way you hold your device is very important and critical because your hand does not get used to holding uh, a big handheld device just like this, just I explained to you. It's like holding a steering wheel. Unless you, you like holding steering wheel, I don't have a problem with that. But uh, that's one thing you key, have to keep in mind that if you're used to your phone the way you hold your phone It will be easier for you to uh, actually Hold the GDB Win 3 Also, it's very pocketable. You can put it in a pocket and walk. It's like a smartphone. Nobody gonna you know, notice that With the Steam Deck you need that you need the case man You need the case you need to put it in a backpack It's not gonna fit in your in your pockets, unfortunately. So you have to keep in mind this aspect. Uh, now let's go to the cooling side of these two devices. I'm not going to talk about performance because both of these devices has a good performance, great performances actually. Um, the cooling side, what concerns me about the Steam Deck, and you might not see a lot of people on YouTube talking about that what concerns me is how thin the device in the middle 
you can see the thickness on the side because the way you hold the device but in the middle is gonna be thin it's way thinner than the GDB Win 3 and if you think about it how thin it is it's going definitely is going to affect the cooling aspect of the device the more thick the device is the easier to cool the more thin it is it will be hard to cool now if you see the the way cooling or the thermals on the GDB M3 it's really great and excellent I'm talking about like 35 watts 30 watts 25 watts it can hit 60 degrees and it stays there sometimes 65 is max so that's a great great numbers but if you actually uh, talking about the steam deck the way the vents are designed is on the side so it's on the side and it's the lower and the way you take out the the, um, the way you take out the uh, the air is through this way it's like the letter L it goes the air goes this way and it goes up while the GDB 13 it goes straight up the, the fans are here and it goes straight up uh, the device from the top points and this aspects these two aspects how thin it is and how the fans take out the air is very very critical in my opinion based on my device testing and the way I see it um, that's all in my concern man and the most important thing the other thing is that the GDB 13 can hit 35 watts sometimes 45 watts uh, docked so you can hit big numbers but the steam deck it's capped at 20 watts if you go to the spec sheet you will see the spec sheet here so it's capped at 20 watts and that could be uh, <clears throat> a downside of it of course other than that this is what I this is my opinion guys uh, about these two devices so if I actually put money to buy the one of these two devices I will definitely get the GDB Win 3 for what I have I've just mentioned the physical aspects and the cooling aspects and also when it comes to the performance I know compatibility is way better in the GDB Win 3 compared to the Steam Deck because Steam Deck still uh, not compatible yet because it has a Steam OS so the company has to work do some other work to work with the compatibility uh, issues so yeah I know the Steam Deck is cheaper but still you are buying 26 to 512 gigabytes and you buy 256 gigabytes of storage so that's that's a small amount of storage with the GDB 13 you can get up to one terabyte of NVMe which is the one I have like for example an Indiegogo we can work with that um, yes I have some concerns about the GDB 13 when it comes to the longevity and if you check out my video before on my playlist I, I spoke of these uh, longevity things that could happen and a lot of people and I wish also a lot more people to actually put a comment section below about how to uh, find a solution for these things that I've mentioned so yeah guys if you have any question let me know in the comment section below it's time for me to chill in this place look at this oh yeah no the sound is from uh the siever so waves anyways i'm gonna chill guys take care and see you another video